I'm Wes from Recommended Playing, and this video will cover all of the 28 magazines available in Dead Rising 2 with information on where to get them, what they do, and their practical applications. This will contain some minor spoilers for a few psychopaths and scoop events. Most of the magazines are available from the various bookstores in Fortune City, but some of them require being unlocked through main story progression or optional scoop events. The best way to break down these 28 magazines is by organizing them into types. Weapon durability bonuses, vehicle durability bonuses, health bonuses, bargaining bonuses, gambling bonuses, weapon PP boosters, zombie killing bonuses, survivor related bonuses, and finally just a couple of miscellaneous bonuses. Dead Rising's books have been replaced by magazines. Why, I do not know, but they are functionally identical. I will be using the term book and magazine interchangeably. Don't worry too much about it. First up, we have the Weapon Buffing Magazines. These function exactly like they do in Dead Rising, where each book gives you three times durability. A few of these books can be stacked together giving multiplicative bonuses. Two books will give you nine times durability, and the rare three book will give you 27 times durability for all weapons listed on the books. We'll go through every book in this category and where to get them before talking about the practical applications as a whole. Let's go ahead and start in alphabetical order. The Amusement Magazine is found in Ultimate Playhouse in the Palisades Mall. This magazine increases the durability of toys by three times. Just a note here, but toys aren't real weapons. The Blades Magazine is found in the Underground. This area is locked and only becomes available after completing every case up until Case 6. The Blades magazine is good as it gives edged weapons three times durability, but man, is it late in the game before you can even consider picking it up. The Building magazine is found in the South Plaza on some scaffolding. It's actually pretty well hidden, you have to climb up right here and then find the magazine over here. The Building magazine gives construction items three times durability. The Domestic magazine is found in the maintenance room in Fortune Park. This is directly across from the restrooms in the large rock area. The domestic magazine will make furniture items have three times durability. The games magazine is found in the Atlantica Casino in the poker room. It's sitting on a couch by the poker table. The games magazine increases the durability of entertainment items by three times. Next is the skateboarding magazine. This is found in the Fortune City Hotel in the lounge area on the right side. The Fortune City Hotel is locked until the case Alive on Location becomes available. Finally is the Sports Magazine. This is found on the second level of the Palisades Mall in Stan's large print books and magazines. The Sports Magazine increases the durability of sporting goods by three times. Just like in Dead Rising, I'll cut to the chase here. Every single one of these weapon durability books has virtually zero practical applications throughout Dead Rising 2. And it's for one simple reason. And that reason is that combo weapons exist. Combo weapons deal more damage, provide more PP bonuses, and generally have stronger durability compared to standard weapons. The best combo weapons like knife gloves, the spiked bat, and pull weapon are easy to make, have good crowd clearing, are good for beating psychopaths, and they give you PP for every zombie kill. The PP gains are small, but throughout the course of the game, these small bonuses will lead to real, tangible levels. There's also really no downside to using combo weapons. Maintenance rooms are all over the place, and it's easy to restock. You might think that the Blades magazine applies to pull weapon or knife gloves, or maybe even that the sports book applies to weapons like the spiked bat. Unfortunately, none of these durability increasing books apply bonuses to combo weapons. They only apply to non-combo weapons. That means if you're using combo weapons, and you should be, then none of these books have any value. It's a bit unfortunate that combo weapons are so good because there are some reasonable synergies. Most notable is Amusement and Blades when using Crystal and Amber's Katana Sword to give it 9 times durability. Unfortunately, you can't even get the Blades magazine until after Sergeant Boykin arrives and that's right at the end of the game. Big yikes. If you're playing Dead Rising 2, use combo weapons. These magazines only have any real usage before you get access to maintenance rooms, and you can very easily get away without using the magazines for that brief period of time. The instant that maintenance rooms come into play, regular weapons drop down to dumpster tier. Combo weapons are that much better. 
The skateboarding magazine is the only one with reasonable practical applications. It has synergy with the sports magazine to make your skateboards a lot more durable. Skateboards in Dead Rising 2 are already more durable than they were in Dead Rising, but you're still likely better off just grabbing a few skateboards instead of the magazines and dodging zombies. The next set of durability boosting magazines are significantly better and more useful, but only when you're achievement hunting. These are focused on vehicles. The driving magazine increases four-wheeled vehicle durability by three times. This mostly just applies to the 4x4 utility carts around the mall, but it should also apply to the unlockable SUV and the sports car. You can pick up the driving magazine by the drink dispenser in Benny Jack's Barbecue Shack in the Americana Casino. The bike magazine is significantly more useful, but it requires you to beat both Leon in the scoop Meet the Contestants to unlock the bike trailer, as well as activate the case Run for the Money to get maximum value out of it. Once Run for the Money is active, you can head to the Slot Ranch Casino cashier's office and find the bikes magazine in the break room. Both of these magazines are worth holding on to while you do the Zombie Genocide Master and having a gas achievements. You shouldn't be going for Zombie Genocide Master without first buying the unlockable vehicles. You'll need to spend about $6 million to buy all of the unlockables. Once you've purchased every vehicle, you can consider starting a Zombie Genocide Master playthrough. You will need an entire playthrough dedicated to this. 72,000 zombies is just way too high of a kill count to incorporate into standard play. Generally, the Slice Cycle is faster for killing zombies than the SUV. Once you get access to the Slice Cycle and the Bike Magazine, you should definitely favor the Slice Cycle. You can still use the SUV, but the Slice Cycle is faster and you'll get extra PP gains. The SUV is slow, but it's much more durable. Once the snipers come onto the strip, things change a bit. You can take the time to beat them, but alternatively you can just switch to the SUV. The SUV can withstand their salvo of bullets. If you are not focusing on a Zombie Genocide Master playthrough, the driving and bike magazines are worthless and just not worth carrying. The health magazines are back, and just like in the original Dead Rising, they are very lackluster. Health 1 increases your healing from food items by 50%. You can find this in the newsstand yesterday, today, and tomorrow in Royal Flush Plaza. This happens to be very close to the entrance to the safe house. Health 2 increases your healing from food items by 100%. You can find this in Baron Von Brot House in the Yucatan Casino. The same logic applies in Dead Rising 2 as it did in the first Dead Rising. You could carry one of these health boosting books, or you could carry a second healing item. Obviously, if you were to pick one, Health 2 is twice as good as Health 1. Health 2 is still extremely lackluster. If you're healing Chuck with painkillers, which grants 6 health blocks, you're not really going to be getting any value out of Health 2 until you're in your late 40s to the max level of 50. You are always better off holding onto 2 healing items rather than grabbing a health book. Dead Rising 2 does not have Infinity Mode. There's absolutely no reason to ever grab one of these books. Just grab more healing items instead for the same inventory space. The Juice Boost magazine is in a similar position to the health books. You can find it in Lowy Wowie's bar on the Silver Strip near the entrance to the underground. Juice Boost takes up an inventory slot, but doubles the duration of mixed juices Chuck drinks. The problem is that you can just have two of the same mixed juice in your inventory and get the same duration, minus chugging the second juice, for the same amount of inventory space. Juice Boost in general is just not very good even with the nerf duration of juices in Dead Rising 2. The drinking magazine has the most practical usage. By far, the most plentiful healing items are alcohol-based in the adult playground of Fortune City. Unfortunately, if Chuck drinks too many boozy beverages in rapid succession, he'll get sick, drop whatever he's carrying, and start vomiting. This effect persists for quite some time. The drinking magazine has the most value of any of these healing books. This is exclusively because it negates the extremely negative effect of drinking too much alcohol. It might be worth picking up and holding on to depending on your playstyle. That being said, if you're playing the remastered versions of Dead Rising 2 on PS4 or Xbox One, you'll have access to the Sports Fan DLC preloaded. The sports fan outfit's special effects increase your run speed, gambling ability, and makes you immune to alcohol-induced vomiting. 
if you're playing these versions of the game, you should absolutely wear at least one piece of the sports fan outfit. On Steam, the DLC is also pretty cheap. I think I paid a couple of bucks for it. Personally, I like the default Chuck look, so I just swap out the shoes. You can barely tell there's any difference. If you have access to the sports fan outfit, this magazine has no value, and you can save yourself the inventory space. Otherwise, you may get value out of it if you're really struggling with a psychopath like Roger and Reed, and you need to heal frequently. If you come prepared, most of the psychopaths aren't hard, and you're better off using mixed juices to heal. Despite being made with alcohol, none of the mixed juices count as alcohol, and you can drink as many as you like. If you are drinking alcohol, you can also just space out your booze consumption and never get chucked to the sixth state. Drink responsibly. Next up are the magazines that sound extremely good on paper but have one critical flaw. The bargaining magazines. These magazines each give you a 10% discount on the prices in all pawn shops. Bargaining 1 can be found in the Americana Casino. You'll need to jump across the lights from Benny Jack's Barbecue Shack to the landing above the security office. This is also where a very easy Zombrex is, so you should snatch that up for Chuck's d d, -d, -d daughter Bargaining 2 is also well hidden. It's in the food court, but you'll have to jump onto the snack machines and run all the way across the roofs of the restaurants to the end to find it. On paper, Bargaining 1 and 2 will give you a 20% discount on prices at pawn shops. When you're looking at making some of the big purchases, like the SUV at $2 million, dropping that down to $1.6 million is going to sound extremely appealing. The main issue is you need to spend at least $6 million in Fortune City for the big spender achievement. Getting discounts is good, but it's antithetical to that goal of dumping obscene amounts of the petty cash fund. If you don't care about achievements and just want the SUV or another unlockable as fast as possible, then yeah, go ahead and snag the bargaining magazines and get whatever you're looking for at a discount. If you want all of the achievements, however, well, just farm more cash and buy everything at full price. The gambling magazines are easily some of the most useful in the game. They just increase your gambling ability. This allows you to more easily win slot machines and card games. They are invaluable for massing huge amounts of cash in Fortune City. You'll want to pick up all three of these magazines when you're generating income. The first gambling magazine is found in Ragazines on the second level of Royal Flush Plaza. The Gambling 2 magazine is found in Stan's large print books and magazines on the second floor of the Palisades Mall. The Gambling 3 book is found at the back of the Shamrock Casino in the Platinum Strip. By gathering all three of these books, you'll significantly increase your odds of winning when gambling. You can further increase your odds by wearing a piece of the sports fan gear. This is paid DLC that's free in the Xbox One and PS4 remasters of Dead Rising 2. With 3 plus gambling skill, you should be able to have a net positive effect when gambling at slot machines. You will still lose, and you'll lose often, but you'll be able to overcome losses, and like TK says, win big. During the story, there's two practical applications for these magazines. These are the two poker minigames. One is during the High Rollers, who you need to beat at poker to rescue. You'll get a million bucks for your trouble, making it the single biggest cash generator in the game. The second is during Anti Up towards the end of the game. You can play strip poker with some of your rescued survivors in the safe house. This is required for getting the Arthur helmet from Jack if you care about every single unlockable. The gambling magazines will give you more favorable cards, and it makes these gambling minigames a lot easier. That being said, you should absolutely save, and abuse that save to make sure you don't ever lose. If you're doing any serious gambling, grab the magazines first. If you want to generate huge amounts of cash, bet the maximum amount at the giant pink slot machine in the Slot Ranch Casino. This will take a long time, but you'll be able to get enough cash to buy every unlockable here in the fastest amount of time. The combat magazines increase your PP gains when defeating zombies with combo weapons. Each magazine increases PP gains by 10% and they stack. All three magazines will give you 30% extra PP. Combat 1 is found in Stan's large print books and magazines on the second level of the Palisades Mall. Combat 2 is found in the newsstand yesterday, today, and tomorrow in Royal Flush Plaza. This is very close to the safe house. Combat 3 is found under the Americana Casino in the warehouse area. You'll need to gain access to the underground by completing the case Ticket to Ride. 
These magazines can have some use, but in general, PP gains from combo weapons aren't going to play any significant role in leveling up. If you're going for Zombie Genocide or Master, you can grab all three of these books to boost your PP from Slice Cycle kills from 20 to 26. This will result in a significant improvement in levels. That being said, by the time you're nearing completion of 72,000 zombie kills, you're going to be very close to the level cap, regardless of whether or not you use the combat magazines. If you're just moseying about from A to B casually doing the main story, the PP gains aren't really enough to justify their inventory space. You're likely better off with another combo weapon or healing item instead of multiple combat magazines. If you were to try to level up quickly using Hail Marys or Dynamite, you could have some justification for carrying all three. But that's not really an overly efficient way to level up. Just like any other PP increasing book, once you're level 50 these books no longer have any value. They aren't worth the paper they're printing on, so drop them. The zombie killing magazines increase your PP gains from killing zombies, unsurprisingly. You'll get 25% bonus PP for each book in your inventory. You'll get 500 PP for 50 zombie kills baseline, and with one book that goes up to 625, and two will take you to 750 PP. The Horror 1 magazine is found in ragazines on the second floor of Royal Flush Plaza. This is a very easy pickup at the start of the game. The Horror 2 magazine is found in Stan's large print books and magazines on the second floor of the Palisades Mall. These two zombie killing magazines are only useful when going for the Zombie Genocide Master achievement. They have very limited usefulness otherwise. If you can spare the inventory, you can quickly snatch up these magazines to level yourself up faster while going for the 72,000 zombie kills. If you are not going for Zombie Genocide Master, these books are simply not worth carrying. You should actually actively avoid them. Going from 500 PP to 750 PP when you kill 50 zombies is pretty subpar, especially considering most combo weapons are going to give you 100 plus PP per kill. If you're already level 50, they also have no value, obviously. That's about it for the zombie killing bonus PP books. Snatch them up for Zombie Genocide or Master, ignore them if you're level 50, or doing anything else. The next set of magazines are survivor related bonuses and buffing survivors. The leadership magazine can be picked up from one little duck bingo on the silver strip at any time. It's at the back behind the bingo ball cage. Unlike Dead Rising's brainwashing tips, the leadership magazine has a very defined behavior. It improves survivors that have some kind of injury or disability. This is a very specific set of survivors like Dean and Esther. Usually this means that if a survivor is slow, needs a shoulder, or needs to be carried, they will behave like normal survivors. Notably, this magazine doesn't work on Tammy the mermaid. She always needs to be carried, even with the magazine. The full list of survivors that benefit from this book are Esther, Jared, Europa, Lynette, Dean, Willa, Kristen, Cameron, Rebecca, and Matthew. It's useful to have the leadership magazine in your inventory when you're rescuing any of the above survivors, but this will take up a very valuable inventory space. It's best to snag the leadership magazine when you know a survivor coming up gets value out of it. Then once you've rescued that survivor, drop it and collect it again later. Dead Rising 2 survivors are significantly smarter and more capable than in Dead Rising. Even the weaker survivors are still pretty easy rescues. This book is helpful, but largely optional. I would consider picking it up at various points though. The rescue magazine is locked in the Fortune City Arena security office. To get inside, you'll need to follow Rebecca there in the case Alive on Location. The rescue magazine provides you with 25% bonus PP for survivor join up and final rescue. If you're doing an all survivor playthrough starting from a new level 1 file, this is a no brainer pickup. You'll level up faster, and that means more damage, survivability, and versatility with more inventory space. This book is worth picking up and holding on to until you've rescued the final survivors. The Playboy book can be picked up from the swim bar in the Palisades Mall. You'll need to climb up to the top to find it near a table near the water slide. The Playboy magazine will give you a 10% boost to PP gains from joining and rescuing female survivors. This obviously only applies to female survivors and the gains are less than the rescue book, but they do stack. If you aren't level 50 and can spare the inventory, this is worth snatching. 
The primary use for the Playboy magazine is during the scoop fetching females. You should absolutely snag this before you pay the ladies to join up with you, then rescue them. After that, you can kind of forget about the book and never use it again, but for this one specific scoop, it's free bonus PP while you're there. Obviously, once you're level 50, both the rescue and Playboy magazines have no value and should not be held. If you're not level 50 and doing a survivor rescuing playthrough, these can be helpful. The rescue magazine is obviously more valuable than the Playboy, as it applies to all survivors, not just females, and you also get 15% extra PP. But if you can grab them both, go for it. The last two magazines are in the miscellaneous category. The Psychos magazine is extremely well hidden. It's on the sign for Paradise Platinum screens on the Platinum Strip. You have to go the long way around and climb a vending machine and jump over a few roofs to get to it. The Psychos magazine is too specific and too out of the way to get a ton of usage out of it. If you know you're going to fight a psychopath like Leon, for instance, you could route in picking it up. It's kind of on the way for Leon. Unfortunately, it's just far too out of the way in most circumstances to really care about it. PP gains are fast and easy in Dead Rising 2, and you don't really need to use this book. And of course, once you're level 50, it has no value anyways. Finally is the Hand to Hand magazine. This is available in ragazines on the second floor of Royal Flush Plaza. The Hand to Hand magazine is only useful during a no weapons self-imposed challenge, or when farming for zombie foo and the smashy achievements. It does become quite useful in those cases. With the Hand to Hand magazine, Chuck's smashy move will almost guarantee a one-shot kill. Chuck's haymaker, elbow drop, and drop kick will also become surefire kills. You should definitely pick up this magazine when you're going for both the zombie foo and smashy achievements. That's all. And now you're a certified Dead Rising 2 magazine expert. Go out there and show everyone that knowledge is power. Thanks for watching everyone. A special shout out to my Patreon supporters. Your support goes a long way for helping out the channel. If you like the Dead Rising content, you should check out the Dead Rising playlist. This features multiple video guides on how to rescue all the survivors and how to get all the achievements for the Dead Rising series. Hours of fun for the whole family. You should also like and subscribe for more Dead Rising content coming. Thanks for watching.